All right. Uh, so you can uh, erase it by selecting the eraser and going to the specific border unit. And what you need to do is just click on it. It will get highlighted. Uh, what are the things that uh, which are being deleted? All right. So I'm deleting things. Now. All right. So likewise, you can delete it. And uh, when you need to insert things, you need to uh, place your cursor in the place that you need to insert. It's like I'm placing, I have placed my uh, cursor. Now, how you are going to get rid of erase? So you go, on, you go and uh, click on the erase uh, uh, button again, so you can get rid of it. So I'm placing my cursor at the uh, second column in here. So like uh, I can change these uh, borders for the places that I need. So I'm going to arrange it like this. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to understand. So uh, I have placed my uh, cursor at the second column. So I'm going to insert a one, insert above. That means ins uh, now here from the icon, you can understand. It's going to insert a row above this row, right? Click it, so it is getting inserted. And I'm going to insert a one below of the last row. So I'm clicked, so it is being inserted. Now, now, what you have noticed the place which I have placed my cursor when they are adding things it is adding according to the pattern where my cursor is being placed right cursor right so when I was having my cursor in here when I'm asking inserting it gave me the very same something like the uh, selected row or like the place where I have placed my cursor and uh, if you say insert it uh, left, it's going to add me another column. Let's see that. See, it's add me another column. And uh, since I have drawn these uh, uh, borders, it's given me with a different size border when, when I'm uh, inserting a column. And when I'm inserting it to right, so I'm uh, selecting this and I'm asking to insert right. Now you can't see whether it is being inserted the reason is my table ends somewhere here. Let me, let me, let me see. Yeah. Can you see me where my table ends? Still it's been selected. Let me uh, zoom out the page and select my table. Can you see the square? It's somewhere here. See, it's gone out of the page. So I'm going to resize it. Uh, here I'm resizing it. Right, so I place my uh, cursor in here and I'm asking to insert right. So it's going to give me a new row at right. Right, so uh, this is how the inserting and deleting happens and uh, splitting the cells and uh, splitting the table, right? And uh, merging cells, yes. First of all, I'll tell you about merging cells. Merging means So I am uh, selecting these three cells, right? I have selected these three cells and I'm asking them to merge. See, so those three, those, those cells become one single cell, right? And uh, I can do the opposite as well by using this split cell. So if I ask, if I click on the split cell, they will ask for how many columns and to how many rows that this cell should be splitted. Decata bedan make and a hard item right vertical line a vertical line a gala carry the current. So I say I need two columns and one rows. But I have a hatra bedan no nang. I say I need two columns and two rows. So when I press OK, see it is being divided into four parts, right? In most of the cases, they are doing it in a very identical manner. Eka eka size secret samana kotas welta my ego bedan. Right, so uh, if I say split table, 
see it was split from the place where my cursor was right I'll, I'll undo it and show it to you again so my cursor is on the third row right somewhere here and I'm pressing split table so it's been split so if I click on a table and take it down so you can see the top two rows are there and the rest part is at the bottom so those are two different tables right and this uh, row height and column width so I'm placing my cursor on the second column and I'm increasing this value see what has happening so my height of the row is being increased right so likewise I can decrease it as well and if I go with the uh, width of the cell so it, it, will, it will get increased and it will get decreased once I'm decreasing it so like you can uh, select several different columns or rows in the very same way you have to press the control key on your keyboard CTRL key and you have to select the rows so here I'm selecting the first row and the third row and the fifth row right so uh, likewise you can uh, select the rows in an ad hoc manner right so but when you are selecting it uh, here and there right that means ad, in an in a ad hoc manner you you are not given the ability to change the height and width but when you are selecting it adjacently how we are going to select it adjacently you are going to click on a cell and click and drag the mouse so it will select right and uh, here I have uh, select first three columns of this small table and I'm increasing the height see height did not have any value previously so when I'm changing it it's changing and I can uh, change the row with uh, column width as well right and uh, if you type something inside here so to do that uh, let me uh, get rid of this uh, separate one so I'm going to delete it uh, using the format uh, so you can see it layout delete delete table I'm going to delete these three columns as well so delete delete columns so it will get uh, deleted so I'm uh, expanding my table and I'm uh, increasing the size of my letters that is done from the same thing so I'm going to type right so uh, I can select the table and make can give a common size to all the uh, letters so once we selected the table the size will apply to the entire table or else I can just select one by one and change the sizes as I want but in most of the times we are not given uh, we, uh, we, we really don't require this thing right to do the changes like this right and uh, when you are considering the placement of these uh, words now you can see here the word banana is at the top of the cell right so I can change the place I can give it at the end the top and it is been uh, left aligned I'll, I'll uh, increase the size width of this column so it is at the top of the uh, column let me uh, increase my font size for a moment so I'm going to get rid of these things so this will be clear for you so inside this cell you have six yeah nine different places like in the top they have top left top middle 
top left, top middle, and top right, and top center. And when it comes to the middle, middle left, middle center, middle right. And when it comes to the bottom, bottom left, bottom center, bottom right, right? So uh, you can change the placement of your uh, of data inside the table as you need, right? So all you need to know is uh, the way you can handle these tools. And I'll, I'll show you something interesting. Uh, you can change the tech directions as well. So like me watch any T and a path, see? So you can change it on this manner. If you click it again, it's going to change to the other manner. If you're going to click it again, it's going to change to the, uh, the way which was there. So how we are going to do it, you select the specific word or the set of words, and you are going to click on the text direction. So it's going to change into the other one. So if you click it again, it's going to change into another way. And if you uh, cut it again, it's going to change into the uh, the, the very natural way, which we were, uh, which we were searching. Right. So uh, that is the thing regarding the tables, right? So now you know. I think now you have a sound knowledge regarding these tools. So uh, remember, you can have these two tabs or two ribbons. Once only you are working with a table. Once you click somewhere else out of the table, those two tabs are gone. So like uh, most of the students complaining, so there is no any tab like design and layout. So to have that tab, you have to select the table or, or you have to click on a cell inside the table. Then and there you can have these size, uh, these two tables, uh, sorry, these two ribbons uh, regarding the table. All right, people, uh, what I need you to do is, uh, let me see. So, page you number. made an assignment? Yeah, no, I didn't made an assignment this time. I'm going to give you the assignment uh, from your textbook, right? Uh, so there is a nice assignment regarding the timetable, yes, which is this, right? Uh, so uh, please turn to your page number 179, right? So in 179, there is a, a table structure given as class timetable grade 10 right so i want you to create it uh, with those uh, formattings right so give it a try and send me your uh, creation as soon as possible so now it is 425 i'm giving you 20 minutes time to do this which is more than enough right uh, so let's see so you may you may send it sooner you have done with it Right, so you can uh, send it through the uh, chat box in here, or you can send it to the WhatsApp group. That doesn't matter. Uh, I'll see uh, whether you have done it correctly or not. Right, okay, people, you can start it now. Right, and again, uh, is there any uh, questions uh, or like is there any place which you are not being uh, cleared with this? Yes, people, any questions? Right, okay, I think it is uh, so far, it is cleared with you. So uh, let's start this, right? Right, start it quickly and try to finish it as soon as possible. Uh, if you are still struggling with some points, just let me know, right? 
I can brief it again. That doesn't matter. You can ask questions. Teru netang, I sir, kahanda matak netang, eight thanda, right? You are not this computer to remember everything that I am saying, right? You have a brain just like mine, right? Little bit smaller than mine, so like we forget, right? That's a simple and a general thing that we do, right? So you can just ask. That's why I'm here. Uh, yes, Minul. Uh, sir, the width size, uh, the width size can be any size, right? Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. The only thing I need is the appearance, right? Uh, even you can have uh, the color that you need. You don't. You really don't need to uh, use green if you like. If you like red, you can go with red. But I need the pattern, which means the banded way, right? And uh, be careful with the letters and be careful with the margins and all these things. Right. The letter size also should be the same as. That. No, 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 no. You can, but but uh, it's better you show the difference, right? Like class timetable grade ten is bigger, and Monday Tuesday Wednesday is smaller, and interval is bigger and ha uh, having with caps, okay. right?
Yes, should I send the document? Yes, yes. If you have done, just send it to me. Perfect. Right. Good. Mm, right. And we know uh, the only matter is uh, like I'll, I'll compare the uh, one in the document or like one in your textbook and with yours. So like uh, the only difference is can you see the difference? Here they they have like merged the things. There you haven't, I didn't see it. I right? And uh, same happens in here, right? So other than that, uh, everything else yeah, is okay. I can merge that. Yeah, yeah, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I know. So just do the merging since you have merged it here, the merge things here. So uh, merging is, you can do the merge and I know. So what, this is something you have missed. So like, uh, Correct it in your side, you don't need to uh, resend it, right? So it's good. How about the others? Mineral has done uh, before five minutes of the target time. So, how about the others? So, are we going to start the proper class or? Uh, like for next week, we are going to have the online class in the very same way. Like like from the uh, first week of the July, we are going to have the proper classes. If uh, things are going on the way. They started, they, they thought they, like they are starting on the set, like in September. So. Oh, like, like, like uh, no, we are okay. having the exams in July online. All oh, right, okay. So, uh, so you are having the classes on September. Anyway, you are going to uh, have a vacation on August, ne? Yeah. Yeah. We are so, getting the holidays for August. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, for the state schools, September will be their holiday uh, month. Doesn't matter. So we'll uh, keep it up like that, right? So are they going to keep for them until 3.30? Uh, there is a saying, like there are... Success, like. Yeah, yeah, there, there is a, a schedule uh, which is goes until 3.30, but uh, I don't know, uh, uh, in, 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 uh, in students' point of view, it will be a little bit hard for them to stay from 7.30 to 3.30. Uh, like 10, 11s, 12s, and 13s that they are proposing to do that. So we'll see. And Minul, can you give a try to uh, uh, create this table, which is in your, uh, which is in page number, let me see the page number, 177. Since you're having time, just, just give it a try, right? I Manu use the same they, table for that. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Manodya has sent me, let me see. Man, not Manodya, it's, it's, it's just a Monday, ah, okay. Uh, it's Saran. Saran, yes, yes, it's Saran. Saran, let's see how it goes. Ah. 
Ah, yes. Right. Saran, you have done it perfectly. Right, good, Puta. Well done. Right, Saran. Uh, you may also give a try to this uh, table uh, in the page number 177, figure 6.12. You can take the same table and do the, uh, uh, the ne necessary changes. Yes, how about the other people? We'll have three more minutes, so uh, we'll see. Don't panic since you are doing it at the first time. So you may take your time and do it slowly. If you need more time, you can have it. You can have the times at home and just complete and send it to me. How to create uh, clear all formatting in the table? Uh, you mean like uh, taking out all these bands and all these things? No, the, the colors and all those. <laughs> so select, uh, sorry, uh, select the table and go to the layout. Uh -huh. Right uh, in the layout. Uh, no, not the layout, in the design. Like untick those uh, header rows, first column, band rows, and all these things at the table style option at the left hand side of the design ribbon. Or else you can simply, simply what you can do is you can apply the uh, very first plane table uh, to your table. So it ah. will, uh, uh, all the uh, other things will get rid of. But the merging part you should uh... yeah merging part you have to like you can't you can't uh, take the previous table like without merging Mer uh, merging part you have to do the uh, splitting again the, oh. the, the things you have done as the merging so just split it yeah i got it All right. So the so the tables in the, the in the spreadsheets vary than the word. Right? Yeah. Yes. Because spreadsheets gives you the uh, ability to create tables in a many different ways, and the cells are whole, then the Excel cells are also been uh, very helpful for creating the table. But here, actually, uh, it's a little bit less facilities that you are getting in the word. Yes, people. Uh, how about Binadi? Are you still doing it? Good? Gayatri, Onetra, and Sandhil. Uh, if you need time, uh, so you can send it to me uh, after the class then. Right? Okay, I think you guys can hear me, right? So send it to me uh, after the class by finishing it. And I need it today itself, right? Uh, so you can continue. So uh, I'm going to show you some other uh, features in the MS Word. Uh, yes, people, just confirm that you are like, you can hear what I say. Yes. Right, okay. Others. 
Yes, sir. Right, Saran. Kayatri, right, okay. Onetra, okay, you can hear. Sandil, okay. Right. I think Binadi can hear as well. Right. So I'm going to uh, tell you the other things or like the, some other features. So uh, we, be, we will be more, uh, uh, able to move forward. Right. So I'm going to discuss about the uh, page layout now. Right. So in the uh, now, before I get into the page layout, uh, let me show you how to insert shape. Uh, like it's the very same way that you have insert a picture. So uh, how did we uh, insert a picture using the insert tab and pressing the picture uh, icon and it will uh, give us this kind of a window so you can uh, search for pictures, right? So I'm searching uh, pictures of mine, right? So I'm, uh, I'm inserting a picture. So my picture is being inserted here. So the picture, uh, its layout options can be changed. Uh, it's better we go like uh, in front of the text uh, since it is very easy for us to uh, maintain a, a icon or like maintain a picture uh, on the uh, Word document. And if you really need to uh, have it uh, behind the text, you can choose behind the text option by clicking on this layout option button in here or else you select the picture, you will be having a new uh, ribbon called format. So in that, uh, in the arrange group, you have this wrap text uh, facility. So there you can choose behind the text or you can here, you can simply choose behind the text. So if you choose behind the text, then text will be at the top of the picture and the picture will be there at the bottom or like at the behind, right? So that's the way of uh, handling the picture. And I told you uh, this can rotate by uh, using this uh, curve arrow and you can resize by using these uh, little squares at the corners of the picture, right? And you can move it here and there once you change this uh, wrap text option, uh, other than in line with text, in line with text, take in the you handle karana pita amarui. Yeah, pita he mehgini ana denne ya peno. Ya ya to one vidhi hita one tarne ki hita me na tarve. So you have to uh, click it and change something else other than in line with text, right? And uh, yeah, let me show you some other things regarding the picture as well. So you can, uh, I to, as I told you, you can resize this and uh, you can uh, rotate this, right? Like from 90 degrees to left, 90 degrees to right. See what's happening when flipping the things, see? And you can flip it vertically and you can flip it horizontally. All right, Sandil. Uh, let me see your document as well. Sandil has sent this. Uh, workings. Let me see it. Ah, yes. Great, Sandil. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, yes. Puta, uh, I can't see the, uh, the, like the, uh, the parts, which is on the Friday column. Will you send it again? Like, uh, having a, uh, smaller picture, like making the table smaller, right? Don't, don't uh, worry about sending it now, right? So, so you can, uh, right? Send it after the class, Buddha. doesn't matter, right? And uh, again, uh, you can uh, crop your image. Crop means like uh, you can get rid of some of the parts from the border, starting from the border, right? So if you uh, select the uh, picture and select crop, see, you will be having uh, these kind of black lines at the corner of the uh, pages as well as the middle of the borders. So once you move your mouse, mouse pointer to that uh, places, it gets changed. And then you click and drag for the places where you are going to uh, move. 
and see the darker part will indicate the part which you are going to lose and the lighter part are the part which is going to be there right so like now i have done the cropping like uh, i have done the cropping in four different uh, all four different uh, places and i press up the crop again see now i am having a part of the picture but uh, it's not easy for us to crop it uh, in a way we want right it's just cropping in the square uh, manner we can't crop it the way we want uh, if you need to do that you have to use some advanced tool like photoshop or gym which we are going to learn in the grade level right and uh, you can have picture borders as well right so here uh, to the picture you can have many different borders so try it out right uh, and uh, i'll send you a, a, a assignment as well uh, by next week for you to complete at home right once we're done with the uh, word document like word processing software and uh, as well as you can have some uh, ah it's good good sir you can uh, experiment it a little bit seren is having gym right uh, yeah and uh, you uh, by uh, this adjust group you can do the corrections for the uh, pictures of yours so like to uh, uh, like make the picture uh, give it a, a very good effects the you can set the brightness you can set the contrast uh, by using the uh, corrections and from the color you can recolor your picture right uh, even you can give some different colors to your pictures as well right you can have it like a monochrome color uh, as a negative color right so likewise and uh, you uh, if you need to change the picture compressing the picture means like uh, like uh, having some additional uh, uh, compression op options like uh, like reducing the resolution so you can like make your document capacity uh, reduced by compressing the uh, pictures so you can uh, use a high quality picture and you can compress it and changing the picture if you click on it uh, you are given the chance to replace a picture uh, instead of the existing one so if i uh, double click on this that will be replaced and uh, yeah if you do any uh, changes to this you can reset the picture to the original size right we said picture and size so uh, you can take it to the original size uh, that's regarding the picture and the very same things can be done can be uh, uh, affected to the uh, shapes as well so like uh, let me get rid of this table uh, to show you that uh, shapes so in shapes you have different kinds of shapes right and as for the very first shape you have a text box right where you can uh, find the same icon in here right the text box so once you click on the text box you can just drag it and draw the text box and you can type inside it like we type inside a document but the only difference is you are being able to move it here and there right like a picture and you can change the size if you want right so you can move it for the places you want now in case if you are asked to create some newspaper article as per like uh, according to the uh, first page of the newspaper so this will be a good option for you to create something like that right and uh, when it comes to the other shapes you can insert many different things so that just uh, excuse me for a moment right uh, 
Right, sorry, uh, Putala. Uh, so uh, you can insert many different shapes as you need. All you have to do is just click on the shape and you, your mouse point is going to change into a black cross. So you can click and drag to draw the shape. So likewise, uh, you can draw the shapes as much as you want, right? Many different uh, kinds are there, like smiley faces. Right, and you can see uh, in the very same way when you are like clicking this uh, shapes, you are getting the new tab called format. And from there you are having the very same uh, shapes. So you can uh, draw as much as you want, right? And you can do the changes. You can uh, change the colors, right? And uh, you can change the outline as well. It's like uh, when I choose black, my outline is black and I can change the weight of the outline. So you can uh, make it like this, right? If I uh, change the outline of this into yellow and if I uh, make it like a more waiter one so I can see it like this right so likewise you can uh, do a lot of changes all right so again you can resize it right and there is a special thing that you can do and once you click on a shape this format uh, ribbon is been uh, brought to you and there is something called this edit shape and on that edit shape you can change the shape if you, if you want. And this is the interesting part, edit points. If you click on edit points, all the points of that shape are converted into black and the border is converted into red. So when you move your mouse pointer to this black squares, see, it changes. And when you click and drag it, see, you can change the shape the original shape and these arms are to make it curve, give it a curve uh, effect. Excuse me. All right, and you can make it curve and in the very same way you can do it and you can change the things as your request. Right. Right. So uh, likewise, you can change the place of it. Right. So likewise, you can change the shape as you need. You can make any shape from. Yes. So uh, like the creatively, as you think, you can change it the way you want. Like you don't need a specific uh, shape, right? Yeah, we can we can do it to anything. Like we can click on this and edit shape, edit points, and we can change the way it is. See, right? So uh, that is regarding the edit shape part. So you have to move, use it accordingly as per your requirements, right? And uh, one another thing, you can edit. Or like you can write things inside the shape. So if you need to write something inside this, 
what you have to do is right click and choose this edit text option so once you click it so you will be able to write it but uh, it will be a, a limited space you will be uh, providing and you can uh, do the same things to the fonts you can enlarge it you can bold it you can change the font size you can do many things to this right but creativity matters that matters right is it clear people regarding the uh, shapes very very clear right good how about others clear sir right good yes sir. sir right thank you thank you for the feedback okay uh, and inside the insert thing, I'll show you something interesting, right? You can uh, do the experiment regarding this, uh, what I'm going to show you now at home, right? Because it is not in your book. Uh, I really don't remember. It is not in your book as I remember, right? There is something called smart art, right? Let me uh, get rid of this first. There is something called smart art. This smart art is for you to create, create something very nice diagrams, right? But these are not shapes. Actually, uh, this will be uh, used to like uh, represent some idea using a graphical method, right? Like if you need to uh, uh, like introduce uh, let's say the uh, you need to uh, introduce the nitrogen cycle or like the uh, something in your science book there are a lot of cycles that you are going to uh, 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 learn no so like uh, if you really want to see really want to introduce how the nitrogen cycle works you can use something like this and once it click you are given the smart art like this so you can uh, type on these points, right? So the uh, words on the uh, squares will get changed, right? Likewise, even you can uh, choose some attractive colors to this, right? So that's how they use, like make charts and all those stuff? Out of yes. Yes, yes, and uh, in most of the cases, the, the illustrations. Uh, for charts, they uh, separately use the Excel. Uh, I'll show you how the things are done by the Excel. Even, even in Word, we are given the uh, facility, but we are talking about the charts in the Excel lesson. Uh, and there are many ways, like how to show the flow, right? And uh, it's already predefined, so you are, uh, the time that you are uh, wasting or like uh, spending, on uh, design in part can be reduced, right? So there are many different things that you can use, right? Some are not, uh, some will not be applied according to the way it is being. So we have to edit it uh, to get uh, fix in with it, right? This is something for you to experiment, right? The best thing that you can do is take your science book and uh, find some cycle and try to make something out of this. So it will be very, uh, very uh, nice. And uh, there are some structures uh, where you can, uh, uh, where you can ch uh, choose pictures for those as well. I'll show you a one. Uh, yeah, this is, no, this is something like that. See here, you can uh, import some pictures as well. So you can uh, add a picture and do the uh, editing as well, right? So there are many different ways of doing this, right? So just try it, give it a try. It will be a nice experience for you. Right, people. So uh, there are, and again, there are many different things in the word. Uh, in our syllabus, we are discussing a very limited kind of tools. So just explore it. It's a very big software, which is done by the uh, uh, a collective effort from a, uh, like a hundred to thousands uh, 
software engineers and the designers. So it's a massive software where you are like learning the basic things uh, in this syllabus. So uh, today I'm going to stop the session from this point. So hopefully we will be able to uh, finish the lesson by next week. We are like left with some, uh, uh, these are the things that you need to go through. So uh, we uh, went with shapes. So the shapes are also gone. So it's regarding the page setup uh, and proofreading treasurer, print preview and mail merge. Mail merge is the one which uh, takes time. Uh, other four are like the small things, so we will be able to finish it up uh, by next day. Yes, so uh, till then, enjoy the weekend and give some uh, experimental works to the word. So I'll see you on to the uh, very same time, 3.30 on next week. And later, we will be able to uh, meet like uh, the real class in our very same place for the very same time, the previous time. Right. And the people who have uh, participated from IME, uh, I am uh, uh, arranging the online classes as well. I'll tell you uh, when will be the time. So you can continue with me as the online class like uh, longer. And again, the people who are in my class, if you like to join with the online class, so you can uh, participate with the online class. I'll tell you how the schedule is going to be as a confirmed one. But then do uh, we have to come for the online or the further? No, no, no. Either the offline or, uh, or the online, right? You don't need to be there on the both classes, right? Uh, it is at your will. So uh, you can continue it likewise. Thank you, sir. Right, people. So I'm going to end the session from All this right. time. So like, bye. Have a good time. bye. Thank you, sir. Right, Dua. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, Saran.